Okay. Okay, so I actually think eventually I'm going to go ahead and say I want to put a switch to turn off the battery for up here. Uh, because really climbing down there underneath it is kind of irritating. Uh, especially, I mean, if to, for some reason it was to kick on while you got your face down there. That doesn't seem very safe to me. Sissy, go put the dog food down. Okay, so, uh, let's see what's going to happen. And I'm going to have to put my phone, because I can see the camera on my phone. Uh, I'm going to have to put my phone down so that I can pay attention to what I'm doing. So hopefully the, the camera's not going to move and look the wrong way. Come on, Sissy. Actually, I need to check the uh, LED. It doesn't, it's not flashing. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there we go. So we got our, I didn't, that's another thing. I'm also going to move the LED so you can see it. Because the idea of putting it underneath was simply so I could see it while it's flying, but uh, really it needs to be on one of the sides or on the front or something so you can see it when it's sitting down. That's all right. When we let them out, they'll eat it. Okay, so move into GPS hold mode. So you put it at 50%, which idles the motors. You can hear them spinning up. Okay, that's GPS hold mode. Got a little bit of a breeze going. And we're going a little high, actually. It's weird that it started going up. It should just be hovering. wandering a little bit, not much. All right, let's bring it down. Sissy, stay back. Sissy, you need to stay away. So it does wander a little bit. We do have a little bit of a breeze going. Uh, also, uh, my radio may not be completely calibrated exactly. Uh, I'm not sure if this... No, that's not hitting. Should be all right. I don't think that's gonna affect anything. All right, sissy, get over there with Bubba. Bubba. Why are you playing with the dog food anyway? You're getting it all over the place. The ants are gonna get it. Bubba. Go over there with Bubba. Go sit down. Go sit down. We're gonna try to fly it some more. Bubba. So I have no idea how long the battery lasts on this one.
This one lands a lot smoother than my other one. Uh, probably a lot to do with the controller or the radio because uh, my last one was just a hundred dollar pre-built drone uh, and it when you landed it bounced around a whole lot and uh, a lot of times it'd fall over uh, this one's a lot more stable on the landing uh, does still wander a bit more than what I would like for GPS hold uh, so I don't know maybe we don't have all of our satellites which again if I had See, we got one. No red. No red. So, yeah, we've got full satellite coverage. It should be over six satellites. Uh, we may have to do something with the gains. I really don't know a whole lot about gains. We got some good breeze going here. All right, it looks like it wants to hold there. It does seem to shake a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if that's, uh, it looks like we got an LED flash and that's uh, I don't have my voltage on the controller. Uh, the battery's getting low, Bubba. So that's kind of sucks. I mean, the battery doesn't seem to last very long at all. Uh, it's first level voltage protection is what the flashing yellow LED is. So it means uh, we're less than 15 volts now for really a pretty short flight. Looks like we still got a yellow LED. I mean, I, I'll admit, Aiden, be quiet. The uh, GPS hold does make it fly a lot better than that cheap quad that I had. Uh, it is definitely a lot easier to control. Uh, you still got to make corrections. It doesn't doesn't really hover in one spot exactly uh, and see it keeps going down so it means I think we might actually be a little underpowered for our motors because it should hover at about 50% power and you got to go up to about 60% so we may be a bit heavy Thank you, Bubba. You need to get back up there on the porch. So I'm going to go ahead and let it run, and uh, we'll see how long the battery actually lasts.
You got some jitters a little bit. I had to pull that uh, that line down. That's uh, the old dog run when we didn't have our gate up. We had to put the dog on that. I just put the gate up a couple weeks ago. So right now I'm just trying to get the feel for it. See, it's holding position there pretty well. Oh, shit. Shit. Well, I think we lost a prop. Yep, we lost. One prop is broken. And we lost a nut. See, this prop, this prop's okay, it just came off. This one's got a little chip in it. We lost one prop. Uh, this one is probably still usable. But I gotta find that other nut for the motor. I'm gonna replace those actually. I don't like them. They don't stay on very well. But, okay, so I'll have to order some more props. I, I didn't get another set because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like these or not. It's gonna be hard to find that, uh, that nut. But anyway, uh, and I like the arms on this one. They fold in. Uh, which, although, yeah, you're probably going to lose more props because of that, but you're more likely you're going to save your motors because uh, when you have an impact, the it absorbs some of the impact and pushes these uh, these in. Looks like all our wiring's all right. So yeah, we just gotta find the uh, nut that attaches on here and replace one of the props. Uh, I'm gonna buy a, a few different sets so I can play with them and figure out what I like better. So. All right, looks like we are done playing for a few days because it's going to take a couple days to get another set of props in. I'm going to have to find that nut and there's no telling where it went. So, all right, well, first crash.